Are you ready? I'm going to show you a couple combinations you can do if you ever get in a street fight so you look like an actual trained boxer. So if someone rush you, use your lead hand and shove them to the side and punch down. And when someone stand in front of you and try to throw hands, you just have a couple combinations. One, two, three. And when you throw your hook, make sure you turn your hips because it all comes from the hips. One, two, three. Drink water, drink water, work out, work out, eat healthy, eat healthy, and shout, and shout. This is temporary, work harder, this is temporary, don't pout, this is temporary, think smarter, this is temporary. No doubt. Yeah. What's up and welcome back to This Is Temporary, hosted by your girl Aaliyah. Today I have Mr. The very first boxer ever on my channel and I feel honored because I've never interviewed a boxer. I've never been to a boxing match but I'm actually wanting to go now, you know. I'm super excited to introduce Tyler the Boxer. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! So what inspired you to start like boxing? I was a little kid, I used to watch the Rocky movies. Rocky? Yeah. Rocky Bambo? Yeah. yeah. And so, and like three years ago I went to see Creed. That's the movie. I know, I was like, that'd be like a fun profession to have. And so, I used to play football, and after my first year of college in Abilene, I stopped playing football, and I was like, I didn't do some weight. So I started doing combat sports. I did MMA first, and then I had this boxing coach that they jumped into in Maryland called, his name Austin. So he introduced me to boxing, and so ever since then, I just fell in love with it. So you've been boxing for three years, if I heard that right? No. Um, been boxing a year. How good of a boxer would you say you are? I'm good, but I could be better. Oh, that's, it's always room yeah. for improvement. As far as boxing goes, for those that don't know, because I'm one of those people that don't know, um, how does it work? Like, when do you have fights and like, how is it set up? Well, it all depends on the fighter and the promotion. So, let's say if you're the fighter, I'm promoting you. Mm -hmm. If you're really good, I want you to fight at least three or four times a year to make more money. That's it? Just Three, yeah, because, that's gonna pay salary. Yeah, three or four three, fights. Three or four times, because like boxing, it's all about promoting. And if you're a good fighter, so if you're a good fighter and you can talk shit, then you can sell tickets and make a lot of money. Like Floyd, he makes a lot of money because he talks. He makes people want to see the fights because people are like, oh, I want to see him lose. I want to mm -hmm. see him win. Yeah. Are you like a lightweight, heavyweight? I'm a light heavyweight and a cruiserweight. And a what? Cruiserweight. So light, light heavyweight is. 175 cruiserweight is 185. So what's your weight? Right now I'm 185. 185. Do you think that um, they have that set up pretty good? How they have the matches? Yeah, to I mean, people. Well, boxing like politics. The best fighters don't always fight each other. So sometimes if someone's the champion and the promoters and the stay undefeated, they fight like the number 12 fighter oh. or the number 13. Are you ranked? No, not yet. Not yet. I'm still an amateur right now. Got you. So have you had your first boxing? At, no. I actually sparred with a couple of professional fighters. Oh, wow. but, but my first amateur fight would be in July in Baytown. Whoa. July 15th, Baytown. If somebody in the streets was like, you know, I'm finna come fight Tyler, what's up, you know? Would you be scared for them? Or, like, do they need a warning? Like, don't come fight me because these hands is registered. No, know? I mean, people don't want to fight me because I'm like a shy and laid back person, like, mm -hmm. outside of the boxing gym. Like, if you see me on the street, I'm going to be quiet. I'm not quiet. Okay, okay, well, say I'm, I'm not me, but like some guys just trying yeah. you, trying to get up in your face, trying to fight you. Will you fight him? Yeah, I give him my number, like, hey, meet me at the gym if you do this uh, the right way. You know? You um, wouldn't have a street fight. I mean, I would if it actually had to happen, but mm -hmm. other than that, and I'm like, come to the gym, we could do this. I'm not gonna mess up my hands in yeah, the street fight. I feel that. I dig and dig and dig for a tweet that you tweeted that I saw, and you were like, you know, you were thinking about stopping school and doing boxing full time. I mean, I've been feeling like that the past couple of months, actually, because if I focus on boxing full time, then I feel like I can improve more mm -hmm. and then get to want to be faster than wait and go to school and box after class. So what are you going to school for currently? Uh, 
originally I was a history major, but I'm switching to mass communication. Yeah, woo woo, that's my major. I know, that's the best major. Are you ready for a challenge? Yeah. So my challenge today is gonna be for him to do the saltine challenge. Yay! And so he's gonna have to eat, the challenge calls for six, but since he's big, I'm gonna challenge him to eat seven of the saltine crackers in one minute. You ready? Yeah. Seven. Are you ready? Yeah. Get set, go. That's two. Mm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, my bad. Mm. <laughs> it's hard already? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's only two. <laughs> mm -hmm. Drink your water. Mm. <laughs> You got 12 seconds. <laughs> That's six. Time is up. <laughs> he still got one more cracker. He failed the challenge, so y'all know what that means. He gotta take a shot. Time is up today. Thank you so much, Tyler, for joining me today. Thanks oh, for having me. Yeah, no problem. And um, his fight, July 15th. In Baytown, Texas. Are you there. nervous? No, I'm not nervous. You're not nervous? No, I'm not nervous. No, do you freestyle? Drink water, no, work out, work out. Okay. Eat Thank you so much for watching. This is temporary. Just remember, whatever you're going through, whatever your struggle is, keep pushing through because it will not last forever. I promise you. No doubt. Because it's only temporary, baby. Yeah.